Hi folks, this is Archit from TechNow and I am here to show you some features of the CM Laven S or the Cyanogen Mode Laven S. We are here using the OnePlus One version that's the Bacon version of the Cyanogen Mode Laven S. And to, let's start off with the features. Uh, we'll first have the notification bar, that's the status bar. Here, the best part of the status bar is that you don't want to pull it using your double fingers or you don't want to pull it down and then use the toggle button here to access between the toggle uh, settings menu and the notification menu. You can simply pull it down from the left corner to access all your notifications and pull it down from the right corner to access all your toggle settings and all those stuffs. So now about the toggle settings. This is extremely customizable. Uh, I think no other OS would be giving you, I mean no other uh, ROMs or something would be giving you this much customizations on the uh, toggle bar. You can change the placement and layouts of these uh, uh, tiles and all those stuff. So you can add more tiles here. Like you can add a compass or you can uh, push a go to sleep option or heads up. Anything, you can add anything over here. Or you can delete something if you don't want it over there. It depends upon you. Uh, you can uh, customize it to any level you want. This is another part of the Cyanogen mode. Then you have a camera shortcut on the bottom. You can find it over here. Actually, you can place it anywhere, but you have the camera shortcut over here. The best part about the camera is that it's not just a camera, uh, like it's not just a direct shortcut to your camera. Instead, it's the camera itself. If you use this, you'll know. Right now, we are pushing it. You have the camera over here. You can take snaps directly from your like see, camera. Okay, you have the option to take directly snap. That's it. Uh, like if you want to take some snaps in a hurry or something, you have the option to pull it down, take the camera, snap something, and pull it back. That's it. You don't want to go to the camera, change the settings, and all the stuff. It's so simple as that. Now the next part is about the audio FX. <coughs> it's something exclusive for the Cyanogen mode. The best part about AudioFX is that uh, if you go to headset, that's the headset setting. Now I, I haven't connected my headset over here. If you pull it on, you have the option to put up your bass boost or you have the option to put up your surround sound or you have the option to add reverb to it. You can control the equalization so here. You can simply pull it down, push it up. It's so easy and it's so good. Really, I used to put uh, reverberation into a small room for some songs so that it really sounds really good. The next part of Cyanogen mode is that uh, this is not just a part of Cyanogen mode. I should say it's the uh, best part of the OnePlus One phone because the hardware and software combined together gives you this feature. That's double tap to wake up. You can simply double tap on the screen to wake the phone up and you can simply double tap on the status bar to get it off. It's a very good feature as uh, everyone doesn't like to push the power button on the side every time you want the phone to be wake up or you want the phone to go to sleep. So this is the best part of the phone. Uh, then I bought the CM features, you uh, some of the features are there in the settings. I mean, the Google settings. If you go to the settings, you can find that you have a uh, theme store over here yeah you go to the theme packs you can go to the theme store here you can get more themes and the customizations are not just like uh, changing the wallpaper or changing the font you have uh, styles like you can change it completely the way the notification bar comes down or the way your icons look like uh, when you change the style completely it just looks like a new kind of like a new launcher or something i'll show an example here i have a um, lollipop theme over here i'll just apply it I just apply the styles and uh, phones, icons, that's it, that's enough. Maybe the wallpaper also, yeah. You'll notice that not just the wallpaper or not just the colors, the style of the complete display is changed. The, uh, the notification bar has been changed, the color of what app you open. See, it's uh, gray, so it's black. If you go to settings, it's green. It has completely changed with it. If you go to WhatsApp, uh, I locked it. Sorry, leave it. So the next part is um, check here. You have all the things changed. Another thing, uh, good thing about the CM is the gestures. Um, if you have the phone closed, 
if you draw a circle on the screen what happens is like the camera lights up again the font closed and you draw V on your phone what happens is like the torch comes up so you have done a lot of gestures on your phone to use it's really good when you are when you really want to have the phone to go to camera or use a torch when you are having it in sleep mode and the best part and the best or I should say this is what really made me to buy the one plus one the best part of one plus one or the Cyanogen mode 11 is is uh, quick boot you got the quick boot in developer options you can go here you can you have the option to enable the quick boot when you enable the quick boot mode what happens is like if you put your phone into power off and then you reboot it again your phone would boot up in like uh, two to three seconds it's something insane for any phone to do like uh, you actually it's like putting your phone into hibernation mode and then powering it on when you uh, press the power button that's what actually happens but uh, in my opinion it doesn't at all drain your battery it's perfect feature for a phone to use so anyone can use it uh, instead of normal power off and power on then I should say you have got uh, a lot more performance tweaks and all those things over here these are not provided by any um, uh, factory rooms by anything like Samsung or Sony you can uh, tweak the processor settings you can uh, know what and all is running on your phone or uh, you have more uh, options like to customize all your window speed and all those things in your developer options something else is like uh, SA Linux is already enforced in Cyanogen mode so you have the option you don't want to go and switch it on every time you want to have SA Linux working on your phone now about uh, screencast yeah screencast is one of the best features of CM actually what screencast does is like uh, it records your own screen actually right now I'm using screencast to record whatever I'm uh, doing here uh, this is what screencast looks like like what you have seen uh, From the beginning of the video you can just press on screencast You can have it recording or you can stop the video recording see you have the option to stop it here If I stop it then the video will be stopped. So I'm, I'm not doing that uh, You have the option to stop or you have you have the option to have the mic also working when your screen is being recorded So you have uh, screencast in Cyanogen mode The next thing is about the shortcuts uh, if you go to settings and uh, you go here have the lock screen yeah here you have the option to have the uh, lock screen shut down like you have you can have not, nothing over there then uh, battery slider shortcuts here you can sl have this slider here to open any of your shortcuts like you can directly go to your phone you can directly unlock the phone you can go to messages uh, google now or you can go to Chrome or your browser whatever it is you can customize the shortcuts and you can use this as your slider shortcuts uh, the next part is about like using your on-screen buttons instead of the capacitive touch screen I'll show you how to use it on the buttons you can go and enable the on-screen navigation bars you got the on-screen navigation bar instead of using the capacitive uh, buttons on the bottom of the port you can use these buttons to uh, like customize or go to home or go back or anything uh, the next thing is that uh, even on this customize uh, I mean even on your phone you can do something with the uh, on-screen buttons you can just go there you can adjust the button layouts you can go here and go to the set just unlock it okay you can add more things like you can add the search button you can add the yeah, menu is all in the Okay. right here I've got uh, some more buttons over here I see now I got the search button directly over here so you can search it and uh, search anything you want or you can use this button and uh, access the widget control and all the stuff wallpaper your customizations use this for your recent app and uh, if you press this button Holly what happens is like it directly goes to your previous app so overall this this features of customizing your on-screen button seems to be really useful if you are uh, someone who wants to open apps or you want to search something in on-the-go format so it's really good 
uh, then you have all the options like in normal Android like the 4.4 KitKat options like to switch on Dalvik or R you can do all those stuff so this is all about Synergy Mod 11s and how we are you guys so take care goodbye